Hey guys, Coach Cabrini here. I am gangsta chefing today. Today is Cinco de Mayo. And I did not want to do a traditional taco. So what I am going to be making is coleslaw. And I have my Mikasa Sukasa. And my, my home is your home. And this is not a Bloody Mary. This is a lovely jalapeno uh, Cadillac margarita. Mm. Cheers to you. Okay, so this is what's going into my um, coleslaw. Now, I bought a ready cut coleslaw in the bag. Do not do that, people. I'll show you why. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm going to see if I can show you how to cut your cabbage. You want to get your, your knife. Y'all can see that? There you go. Okay, so you want to get your knife like that. And you want to get it as thin as possible, okay? You want to also keep your fingers tucked in. Now, I'm showing you this way. Now, let me turn it around and show you how I would be doing it. Can y'all see that? If I was in a normal position and my camera wasn't over there okay so you want to get as close as you can and thinking in your head you're shaving it okay shaving people shaving all right not cutting we're shaving and let me show you you'll see that okay now this is the store bought one I told you guys, don't get the stove bar one. Let me tell you why. Because see how it's all chunky? And you don't want chunky. You want shaving. Shaving, people. See, they kind of sort of did that. But this is why you got to cook your own shit. You got to cut your own stuff yourself. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. Coach Cabrini here, the Gangster Chef. I'm always feeding you food and some food for thought to just feed your subconscious mind. Okay, so today is Cinco de Mayo. Cheers to all of you lovely people. Here is my, even though it's in my lovely uh, kettle one glass, this is my margarita. Um, what is this? This Cadillac margarita with jalapenos. Mm -mm. So today I decided I did not want to have traditional tacos and all that. I wanted a really good salad and I wanted coleslaw. So I looked online and I saw all these people making coleslaw. It wasn't gangster enough for me. So in the videos to come, you're going to see me make, for the first time, usually, an amazing coleslaw. Gangster style for Cinco de Mayo. I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so now I'm making this amazing uh, coleslaw, gangster style, gourmet. You guys can give it a new name if you want and then start getting creative with your own. So most coleslaws only have cabbage, carrots, and red cabbage, and mayonnaise, vinegar, and everybody does different things. So my, scratch it. Here's my coleslaw, gangster style. Okay, red onion, sliced julienne, okay? Oh, do y'all see me going into my cabbage bowl? Okay, here's cabbage bowl, okay. Let me put it right here, okay. Y'all see that? Okay, so, red onion, boom, in. Now, because I don't have carrots, and I'm gonna use a little bit from the pre-made store-bought because I did not think I, I, I didn't think it was going to be so bad. I'm using red and orange peppers. Okay. Oh, that's so beautiful. Now I'm adding broccoli. Yes, I am. Who said I can't? I'm adding broccoli. That's gangster. Okay. That's in there. Boom. It goes in. Now I'm going to add diced up what? Jalapenos. Yes, I am. I'm using the pickled one. So it's not going to be. Oh, Hold on, Mikasa. It's not gonna be so hot, right? Okay, so then I'm gonna use green onions. Boom. Twirl that around up in there. 
Remember, you want your food to look beautiful. When it looks beautiful, it feels beautiful in your body. But guess what? It better taste good. All right, so these are our ingredients. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt, you know, I'm going to make the sauce that goes into the uh, coleslaw, you know? The simple rule for everyone is mayonnaise, um, a a vinegar, lemon, and um, uh, what else? And, you know, salt and pepper. Well, y'all know I'm about to put a twist on this. So y'all get ready. Get ready. Let me, I got to go get my mustard. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get to it. I got the mustard. I'm ready. Um, I'm not, I'm substituting vinegar, people. Some people, most people use vinegar, white vinegar. I was going to use apple cider vinegar. And I said, wait a minute. When you think about the, the taste when you think about the, feet, the, the the smell of apple cider vinegar, you know, you've got that tangy, tart, kind of overpowering uh, smell. So I decided I'm going to use capers. Now that shit is gangster. Okay, here we go. Mayonnaise. Boom. Just squirt. Just do a little twirl like that. Right? I, I said, you know what? I love ranch. Shit, ranch got almost everything that the mayonnaise got. I'm going to do a little bit of man, uh, ranch. Do a little twirl, twirl. I love me some ranch. Okay, now I'm going to do my capers. That's going to be my liquid. Mmm, look at that. Two of these little tablespoons, teaspoons, and then I'm going to add a little bit of that juice. Because remember, we're trying to, I'm going to use the, the um, apple cider vinegar kind of situation. I do not know how this is going to taste. Am I going to throw up? We're going to all see. Y'all going to watch me because, you know, I love showing y'all. I'm going to squeeze some lemon. Okay. I'm going to do a little squeezy squeeze there. Okay. Now, let me add. Let me get my napkin. Hold on. All right. Let me add my red chili peppers, chili flakes. Y'all know I got to have some heat. Okay. I yes, I'm gonna add some Creole mustard. Just twirl, okay, boom, that's good. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna use my good friend Creole Depot. This shit right here ain't no joke, people. Creole Depot. All right, put that little bit of that. I'm gonna sprinkle that on the salad. Okay, it's on the salad. Ooh, Lord. Garlic pepper. Laurie's love her on the salad. Okay. Y'all see that? Look, here it is right there on the salad. Okay. Now, let me mix this together and let's see what we're working with. You don't want your consistency to be too watery, but you don't want it to be too runny. I mean, too uh, stiff either. Because then you're talking about some Caesar dressing kind of. I need some movement. Well, let me tell you, it looks beautiful. Got them capers on up in there. All right, let's see what we're working with. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord D. Oh, my God. Y'all. All right, get it together, people. Creole mustard. A real mayonnaise from, from best people, best foods. And you got some Hidden Valley Ranch. Don't fuck around with some other substitute people. Hidden Valley is the original gangster ranch dressing. Oh my God. Trader Joe's. Capers. I think it's $1.99. It's the best capers I've ever had. Capers at Trader Joe's. Oh my Lord. Y'all, I'll be right back. Let me pull it together and eat it in front of you. Okay, people. I have poured this amazing dressing, coleslaw, Cabrini coleslaw dressing on my salad. The coleslaw, like, let me get a tong and twirl it around. Mm. 
some cat pigeon. Now this is a coleslaw. Look at that beautifulness going on. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry. I can't have some plain shit going on in my life. All right, well, I'm going to plate it up for you and show you how beautiful that is in the next video. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. So, um, I'm so excited to taste this in front of you. It's my first time making a coleslaw, believe that or not. And when I looked at all the videos of people making traditional coleslaws, it just, it wasn't gangster enough for me. So, I decided to add my own twist and I'm glad that I did this video because I don't know what the hell I put in this amazing, untraditional coleslaw by a gangster chef. So, here it is. Oh wait, let me put my fork down so when I capture this picture. Let's see. Jeez, let me see. Um, so here it is, people. Let's get another picture of it real close with my stuff behind me. Hey y'all. Okay, so I'm at a minute and I wanna make sure I keep it quick. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I have avocado here in honor of Cinco de Mayo. Mm, mm, mm. This is amazing. Listen. Oh my God. Wait. Hold on. I'm, so I'm sorry. I know this is rude to be eating in front of you. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. When you make this, you'll never eat a plain coleslaw ever again. When you're doing your seasoning, remember if you're going to use capers, if you're gonna use anything that already has salt in it, do not add salt. Luckily, I didn't. Um, I wanted to put um, garlic uh, sea salt, but I didn't because I knew the capers are already so salty. So, oh, well, look at you guys in your eyes, take a drink. In this coronavirus time, well, they're not using corona anyway, they're only using uh, COVID-19. While you're quarantining with yourself, take the time to enjoy your view. Take the time to get to know who you are and what you love to eat. There's no, I, I thought I was gonna eat some heavy Mexican food. I was gonna have a hot dog with a with a bun and some chili I made last night, but something, I wanted to make a coleslaw. And then I started watching the videos and I realized that I wanted to just have fresh food in my body right now. I just wanted to, and, and you know, a little cocktail, right? So my food for thought for you today is to just take time with yourself to enjoy un uh, discovering who you are in this quarantine. Enjoy the view, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. I am Coach Cabri, the gangster chef, always, always giving you food and food for thought. I'll see you in the next video.